As far as the topics uh, covered in the financial modeling school are concerned, we essentially help you create a completely integrated financial model. We start by training on how to create an efficient layout for a model. How do you go about inputting the historical statements? How do you go about uh, analyzing the growth drivers from the historical statements? How do you form the growth assumptions? How do you project the complete uh, P&L and the balance sheet that includes your asset and the depreciation schedule? It includes your debt and the interest schedule. It includes your equity and the retained earnings schedule. Once you have all the schedules in place, how do you go about creating the cash flow statement? So if there is a loop between the interest and the cash component, then how do you build the circular loop into the, into the model? How do you go about analyzing the model through ratios? How do you go about analyzing the model for valuation through the discounted cash flow method? How do you go about valuing the firm through comps? That's the comparatives. How do you go about charting the football field for the model? So, so essentially everything that you need to create a completely integrated financial model, all the steps are covered and, and the, and the model that we would be creating. So for example, that starts from the historical P and L and the balance sheet. So that's the historical P and L and the balance sheet. So you can see that there's an efficient layout that we have in place, the layout maps, columns to years. If you go to any sheet in a model, always column E would refer to FY05. So you start with the historical P&L and the balance sheet. So first of all, you create the layout, then you build the historical P&L and the balance sheet. All the blue font numbers that you see are all historical in nature. Then you go about building the, uh, the growth drivers that are there. So what has been the historical growth in revenue, prices, costs, volumes, etc. Then you build your future assumptions. Once you have the future assumptions, then you build the revenue, you build the cost, you build the debt asset, you completely project the balance sheet and the P&L. Then you go about creating the cash flow statement. Once you have the cash flow statement, then you go about the ratio analysis, how to analyze the company using the ratio analysis, how to build the valuation, how to build the comparative valuation. So using the pair group that is there, how to build a football field and and how to build a dashboard uh, using DuPont analysis. We also cover one advanced technique called Monte Carlo simulation. So let's say if some of the variables are, are non-deterministic in nature, uh, they are probabilistic in nature, then how do you utilize, um, uh, how do you go about utilizing, uh, uh, let's say distributions to estimate what those, uh, uh, what those uh, numbers could be, right? What, what the assumptions could be and based on that, how do you go about uh, doing a ratio analysis. So this is a complete Monte Carlo simulation that you that you can build to to estimate what kind of ratios would be there. So so that's how you go about uh, building a completely integrated financial model. So apart from that, we have smaller case studies. So for example, um, uh, we have a case study around uh, uh, around equated monthly installments. We have a case study around how to go about uh, doing custom formatting in Excel. We have case studies around uh, around deferred taxes, depreciation. We have case studies around uh, uh, around using macros, using uh, macros to build custom charts, right? How do you go about breaking circular references through macros? Apart from that, uh, we have a, a small case study on credit risk that you can use. It uses advanced concepts on uh, on using arrays as well as lookup formulas. How you use those to build uh, build models? We have uh, small case studies around uh, free cash flow to the firm and equity. And as you can see, we have uh, uh, two uh, two actual companies, how they uh, how you can create models for them. So one of those companies is LinkedIn. That's a social networking site that, that came up with an IPO. And apart from that, this Coal India Limited, that's one of the largest uh, uh, coal uh, manufacturing or explorer in India at this point of time. So we have bonus tutorials around that as well then this is the complete valuation. So all the lessons are available to you at your uh, at your own. Uh, you can go through these lessons at your own pace. Everything is downloadable. So for example, let's say if you want to go to the historical P&L, you can uh, see the video, you can download the video, you can download all the Excel templates that are there. So all the instructions are given. So what exactly is covered in this particular uh, session, you can view the video online you can download the empty Excel template and the filled Excel template. 
and whatever queries etc you have you can use the forums to raise your queries and we would answer those queries so for each of these lessons you can do these steps so for example you can just click and you can just view or you can completely download the full material if you want to right you can download the lesson and you can download the excel templates if you wish to and whatever doubts you have you can raise them on the forums so so this video is explaining the historical pnl and then we would go about creating the completely integrated financial model. So what you would also be given is you'll be given um, empty Excel templates at each stage so that you don't go about wasting your time and you can link and create the completely integrated financial model. So that is what is covered as far as topics are concerned in financial modeling in Excel. We are also introducing a new module on cash flow modeling where we would be using the historical PNL and the balance sheet to create the cash flow statement through the indirect method so we would be building uh, the historic we would be using the historical balance sheet uh, and then we would be categorizing those uh, into operating investing and financing activities uh, essentially your cash is a difference between the assets and liabilities so we would build that and then we would build the uh, complete cash flow statement so we would do it for one of these uh, companies and we would also give you 10 sample exercise templates that you can use to build the completely integrated financial model and these have been chosen from across the industries and across the world so so for example we have uh, companies that are listed in us we have internet companies we have uh, manufacturing companies we have retail companies that are listed across the world so alibaba is listed in china so we help you uh, sort of learn through all these models so all the excel templates would be given to you and what you need to do is go step by step and create the model on your own and along with it one video template how to go about doing it would also be given so that it, it guides you on what you need to do to create the completely integrated uh, to to create the cash flow model so this module is being introduced uh, uh, from 15th of may so from 15th of May, you would get access from 15th of May 2012, you would get access to this particular uh, module as well if you are registering for the financial modeling school. In the next tutorial, I'll speak about the project finance modeling school.